I wanted to start off actually by offering you the first ever uh, Ryan Peak Award for commitment to the media and fans because of all the interviews I've done over the years. Uh, there have been some other members, but you've been the one consistent guy that always shows up. So well, congratulations. Really? Wow. That's, thank you very much. I, 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 would, I want to share this award with nobody because nobody helped me, <laughs> just me. <laughs> right on. Uh, so things are uh, doing well? Yeah, things are going well, man. It's like we're just uh, firing up a bit more uh, back at uh, back at work this year. And uh, and this documentary is really uh, kind of kicking things off. So it's it's keeping us busy, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the attention is, is focused a little more on the band now because of this documentary uh, again. And uh, I, I think it's amazing. I've, you know, the, the question of why people, some people, I should say, have developed this kind of, you know, I don't want to say hatred, but uh, something against the band over the years. And, uh, you know, uh, there's so many different angles that people have talked about. But I'm very interested to see how it all plays out in this film and uh, seeing, you know, that knowing that you've seen it already, uh, what was your take on that and and how it was presented? You know, the whole idea behind love, loving to hate Nickelback or hating to love Nickelback. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we 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 basically, you know, we, we figured, you know, we've been used as clickbait for years. So maybe it's our turn to kind of turn it around and everybody. Yeah. And I mean, in a sense, because for, for sure, like it's, it's, you know, it just made sense that at this point, you know, we were making a documentary just to, to basically just have this biography of the band for, for our family's sake, just, just for, you know, I don't know, posterity's sake or something like that. Um, and then it just became this other thing. And so to be able to get to a point in the documentary, where it was probably two years into it. We're like, do we want to talk about this? Like, is that something we want to add to this thing? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I guess so. If, I mean, pandemic, it kind of started at that time. So we had a lot of time to, to, to process and think about things. And we thought, you know, let's let's take the narrative and let's, let's you know, give everybody our perspective. We've never, never really said that. It's usually been, you know, we've largely ignored it, which you kind of have to. It's a bunch of noise, at, you know, for any artist to act, anybody in the public eye, you, you get people that like you and detractors and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like we've probably had a bit more than, than most. So it was our chance to talk about it. And uh, so we do, we address it the best we can. Um, I mean, everybody's, <laughs> you've got theories. There's theories as to why it happened. There's, there's, you know, definitely things you have to admit to. It's like, yeah, fair enough. You know, people think the music's formulaic, that, that that's a thing that's like, whatever. It's like, but then in the same breath, we're like, there's a thousand other examples of that. Why are we the whipping boy? So, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't want this to be an oh, woe is me thing by any means, but it, it's a chance to kind of peel the onion a bit on it. And uh, that's why I think it, it might be interesting for not just fans, but for people that just heard the name, heard the nonsense and, and kind of went, yeah, I don't get it. Or or I'm supposed to not like this band. Why? So uh, that, there's as much talking about the hate, probably a little more talking about the love, but there is that kind of connection. So. That's great. I think it's a, a great angle because you're not only attracting the fans who are, you know, follow everything you do and will want to see this documentary, but, you know, in a case where a band might put out a documentary about themselves, only the fans will watch it generally. Yeah. They're, you know, if you're not a fan, you're just going to ignore it. But in this case, the ones who aren't fans are often like, you know, so passionate about not being fans that they want to see the documentary as well. So, you know, kudos to you guys. You're probably going to sell way more tickets because of that. And at the same time, I think it's such an interesting phenomenon because uh, of the way it happened when you guys initially started, uh, it was like everyone loved you. There was this, you know, this new band, Nickelback, on the scene mm -hmm. and they, they hit hard and the, you know, the lyrics are great and deep. And then perhaps along the way, you know, there was a little shift I think, I don't know what, you know, I'm, and again, I'm curious to see this film, but there was a shift in uh, perhaps lyrically. Now you're singing more about sex, drugs, and rock and roll mm -hmm. and not going as deep into the, you know, uh, um, uh, like, for example, the, uh, songs like Never Again, which had that theme of, uh, of uh, violence, domestic violence. And now you're singing a little more about being rock stars and having fun doing it. And to me, that just came from your experience. You're like, hey, now we're, we've gotten a little bigger. 
they're throwing more money at us. We're getting to fly in planes and and hang out in cool spots. So why don't we sing about that? You know, that's that's the kind of the dream for any musician, really, I guess, uh, in in some way or someone who wants to be a rock star. And you guys achieved mm -hmm. it. So why not, you know, flaunt it or talk about it? And I love the fact that when the haters did start coming out, you did largely ignore it. You just ignored it or you'd laughed about it in the media. And I thought that was great because you know, it's it's the same thing with Metallica when they made the Black Album and and the original hardcore fans were like, well, what is this? You know, you're going in a different direction, which, hey, any one of those people will get up in the morning and put on a different set of clothes than they did the day before, right? Everyone wants to. Yeah. You're eventually going to upgrade your wardrobe. You're eventually going to change your car. You're going to sure. want things to move in a different direction. So. I never faulted you guys for doing that. And it was just interesting to see people take that approach. But, uh, you know, again, this this film is uh, is probably going to clear up a lot of that. And especially being in radio and knowing that what you guys are facing uh, as artists, as many do, having lovers and haters, uh, you do have to kind of ignore it because in the end, you know, seeing you guys on stage and you're you're tall guys too like you're larger than life when you're up there on the stage you look like monsters of rock and then uh you know people think you're they could you'd throw yeah. whatever they want at you but you're still human yeah. you're still people so i always wondered as the years went by and you guys kept joking around about you know the hate in the media and just playing it off but inside i was wondering like they've got to feel this has got to be tough to handle. Like, how did you handle, did you get to a point where you almost said, or maybe someone in the band and you don't have to name names or collectively said, you know what, maybe we should just step back or maybe, you know, I'm just kind of tired of dealing with that side of it. And, and it's discouraging me from, from pushing forward. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that could definitely happen. I mean, we never got to that point where we were so uh, definitive in a choice where we, you know, this is what we're going to do because of this. Um, you can't, you can't quite let the tail wag the dog in the sense there. Um, I, I don't think, I mean, we got that. That's, that's, I, I know what you're speaking of when you're talking about the choices you make in, in music and a lot of, you know, the majority of the lyrics are Chad's lyrics and that's kind of his experience in different points in time. Uh, but you, 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 you just, you want to change, you want to do different stuff as, as an artist, but then when, yeah, it's like when people start actively I mean, and, and, and sometimes it's it's a vocal minority on the internet. That's the whole, is the internet really real or not? Yeah. Like, honestly, like, I mean, it, it can make, it can it can supercharge the sentiment, I suppose. But that doesn't necessarily mean, like, we always saw the disconnect. People were saying this stuff, yet people are still coming to shows. People still <laughs> buying the CDs back in the day we bought CDs, you know, or they're now listening to, like, our numbers are going up all the time. And Spotify, we're like, we're like I don't even know what we're doing. No idea what we're doing in that sense. <laughs> but, um. I, I think, yeah, it does affect you. I mean, at some point it will affect you. Um, never to the point of, of shutting down. I think what we did for a long time is, you know, uh, it just pull away from, from any kind of press just because, I mean, it's all anybody wants to talk about. I'm, I'm happy that this, this movie is coming out because it is the 800 pound gorilla in the room. Um, so everybody knows when we talk about, you know, our name has become something in the public lexicon that I'm not really stoked about, but uh, it might fade at some point as well. Um, but it's, it's like, you can address it and we can talk about it and we can, you know, guess what we think, you know, like I said, peel the onion about what it is and whether you're right or not is like, so it's, it's subjective, I think, as to how, I think it's a confluence of a lot of things. So that's why it's a little foggy to, you know, the reasons of, but I wanted to hit it head on, talk about it. And then maybe later on, we can kind of move past it and <laughs> just yeah. play the music and have fun. Cause that's, it's kind of what we're out there doing It's like, we're just trying to like, play music and, and people come to the shows and they sing their hearts out and we try, you know, to do the same back to them. And it's, again, that disconnect is always there. So that's why I'm like, I'm stoked for the people that aren't fans. Like, watch, watch this, just check it out. Just, you know, we're not this, like Mike, our bass player says, we're not this monolith. We're not this, like, like people think of it as like, like Nick Nickelback, like the thing. And then, so the, it's easy to hurl, you, you know, at insults and whatnot and, and jokes and memes and blah, blah, blah. When there's actually, there, there's, four guys behind us <laughs> it's like yeah. we're all very different people and we all have families and it's like so yeah. i mean again it's not about oh woe is me like feel sorry for us you know we're in the public eye you're cannon fodder to some degree 
Um, but it's it's we're trying to eject a little humanity into this thing. If I don't like something, I just don't listen to it. I don't have to start a blog post about it and yeah. find other bloggers that love it. Yeah, love love to hate the things that I hate, but it's a thing, and I'm I'm recognizing it's a thing. But um, you know, we'll see if this kind of dispels a bit of it. And in the topic of uh, the fun part of it was, what was it like revisiting? you know, some of this old footage and, and photographs and, and memories of, you know, your early days starting off as a band as, you know, they tell the story in the film. Yeah, it's, it was interesting. I, I, uh, I had to take out a library card in, in, in West Van here, or sorry, in uh, North or in uh, Vancouver downtown. Um, because, uh, because some of those tapes, you couldn't find players for anymore. Did a guy transferred all that old footage. I'm like, I'm not sending this out of the house. I want, I want to have, you know, control as to, what we what we use and whatnot. So I digitized the whole thing. And it was interesting to see, yeah, to see some of the old pieces. It's, it's tough to get it cleared with some of the bandmates. They're like, ah, oh, I, I hate what I looked that day. Oh, that's <laughs> like, you know, it's like old family photos. Like, don't put that out there. Like, yeah, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, but some of the things, you know, I, I think I caught, uh, I don't know if it's in the doc, but I know we've got some B-roll, I think of, I actually caught uh, Chad, um, I think on the vocal take at Higher in Miami. We just got the video camera and I was wandering out in the studio. And I think I, I actually caught the, the uh, his actual vocal take we used. Uh, we, but we've got some footage of us put, piecing how you're me together. And it was great. I mean, some of those things are, are amazing that we actually even had some footage for that. We're not the Beatles. We don't have like a camera running all the time. Those guys had cameras yeah. running all the time. Like yeah. there's so much footage of the Beatles. It's insane. <laughs> I just laugh. Not to compare myself to Beatles, but I'm just laughing because, like, we tried to get one movie. We barely got enough footage together for <laughs> one movie. So, but it was fun. It was fun to go back to see it. That's great. Uh, and is there anything now that you mentioned, you know, things that didn't make it in the doc? Any maybe key moments or or things that didn't make it in that you uh, would like to share or, or wish made you made it, it made the cut? Um, you know what? There's some like, there's some family stuff. That I, like of our families talking about things that that didn't necessarily you know as, as the director and producer were talking kind of trace this the, we tried to pick a storyline and go with it and kind of keep keep that together and there was some some things that they were speaking of that I wish we had heard a bit more about because it's it's such a huge part of of our career and our success like it's a huge part of it and you know we talk about you know obviously the fans coming out and and, and having success on on, on the radio and, and whatnot, but the, the Canadians behind the man with, with family and, uh, and, you know, keeping those things together and, you know, my folks and my brother wouldn't, didn't want to be interviewed. And he was like, he's had some pivotal moments in our career that, that kind of, you know, made a huge difference. That kind of stuff didn't, didn't quite make it. So we're trying to dig up some stuff for some, some B-roll social media yeah. stuff so we can get some of it out there that didn't fit the storyline, but man it's like you you could make that movie a thousand times over and get it a thousand different times it's like it's just never ending it could be the never-ending project really can be yeah 